Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cartoon. In this video tutorial, I will show you how I made my summer dream dress from pattern drafting, cutting, and sewing. Let's grab your sewing machine and start making a dress with me. What you need is lace for making the sleeves, fabric of your choice. I use satin fabric for this dress, a foam cup, and muslin fabric for draping. We'll start with the pattern drafting. First, draw a nape line. Then mark and draw the lines of your upper bust, bust, and waist points. I forgot to mark the lower bust point, so I do it here. Next, measure your bust circumference and divide it by 4. And draw the line. Then, measure your side seam length. This simply runs vertically down the side of your garment. Mark your quarter of your waist circumference plus 3 cm on the waistline. This will be the side dart. Add 1.5 cm to the center front. From this point, mark your bust width on the bust line. Then find the middle point of your bust width and mark it as a bust point. Then add 1.5 cm darts on each side. Mark 2.5 cm or 1 inch down from the upper bust line. Now I'm gonna use a foam cup to help me create the bust curve. Trace a curve along the foam cup. Mark the front Start line on the foam cup like this. Then move the foam cup and align the mark with the back dart line. This part of the drafting is actually the same as my previous video if you noticed. Copy the front dart and add to the back. The length will be different depends on your body measurement. Add half of a centimeter dart to the center front. For the back panels, I start from here. Then mark the quarter of waist circumference on the waistline. And mark half of it. Add total 3 cm darts. Then I add Five millimeters to the center back. Finally, 
I'm going to design the slope of the back. It should be started where the edge of the foam cup was marked. This is the center front panel, center back, side front, side back, and zipper. And here are the patterns. Now I'm going to use a tape to stick the patterns together like this. Now I'm going to draft the rest of the dress. First, draw the center line on the new paper. Then mark your waistline, hip line, and knee line. Attach the front panel to the paper like this. Then I take my hip circumference and divide it by 4, plus a little bit ease because I don't want it to be too tight on the hip. I mark half of this and create the curve of the hip. I draw the length of the dress a little bit above of the knee because I don't want it to be too short or too long. For the patterns of the back, I repeat the same process. Now I'm going to add seam allowances. For the top part, I add 1 cm instead of 1.5 cm seam allowances because I don't want to have too much excess fabric when I sew the cups to the dress. Here are the patterns that we got. For the cups, I cut muslin fabric into two pieces like this. Design your cups as you like and then drap the muslin fabrics on the foam cup like this.
This is the pattern that I got. Then I trace them on a drafting paper and add seam allowances. I'll use lace fabric for the top part of the cups, so I remove the seam allowance of the top part like this. Now I'm gonna make the cups for the dress. I cut the lace and satin fabric for the cups like this. Take the top and the bottom of the cups, pin them together, and so. Then take the lining piece of the cup, pin them together on the right sides, and so. Here is the cup that I got. I remove the lace fabric here to avoid the bumping. Now I'm going to top stitch on the lining side. And here is the cup. But wait, I didn't really like how the cups turn out, so I decided to redesign the patterns. So I make the center front a bit deeper and redesign the cups. And this is how it looks now. Next step, I take the lace fabric and design the sleeves.
I leave the top of the sleeve about 20 cm long and gather it. Here are my sleeves. Then I make two straps. Flip the fabric in half and sew on the wrong side of the fabric. Then I use a loop turner to turn the right side out. And here is my strap. Then stitch the straps to the sleeves. Next step is cutting the dress following the patterns that I just draft. Sew them together on the wrong side. Then I take the pattern of the back and mark the positions of the sleeves. Pin the sleeves to the dress and make sure that they are placed correctly. So Time to insert a zipper This time, I just found that sewing the zipper to the bodice without the lining is more easier. So, practicing is very important. You learn new techniques every time you sew. zipper on the right side of the dress. The tape of the zipper will be on the same side of the seam allowance. Make sure that you pin them correctly. And this is how it should look when you close the zipper. This is the zipper foot that I'm gonna use. to sew the lining parts to the bodies. This is the lining, so I pin the right sides together.
for the cups I won't sew them on the dress this time but I pin them upside down between the bodies and the lining like this so the seam allowances of the cups will be hidden under the garment this is how it should look sorry that I didn't take a very good um, video for this part as you can see here the seam allowance of the cup will be in the middle between the bodies and the lining then I trim the edges to avoid bumps Then I press the seam allowances to the lining like this and top stitch. Be careful not to sew on the zipper. And this is how it looks. Finally, sew the lining and zipper together, row hem the bottom of the skirt, and the dress is done. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.